A hotline is up and running now in Tucson for coronavirus questions. Nine on your side's Taja Davis spoke to the Arizona Poison and Drug Information Center about the type of calls it gets. Taja, what does the Poison Center have to do with COVID-19? Well, Pat, first, amid a public health scare, hundreds and thousands of calls flood public health departments. So here in Arizona, the Poison Control Center helps by taking some of those calls. For example, in the past, it had a huge role in the state during the Zika crisis. Now COVID-19 is in the forefront. Located in U of A's Drachman Hall is one of the state's two poison information centers. This center helps field calls for all counties in Arizona aside from Maricopa. So everyone's just trying to get information. Things are so rapidly changing and that's really our role. This is sort of fight back on the hysteria and the panic and try to provide some factual information and get pe give people guidance on what the proper things to do are. Stephen Dudley, the director of the Arizona Poison and Drug Information Center, says they take over the public calls for the local health departments. The top questions asked. What are the signs and symptoms? Do I meet the, the criteria to get tested or how do I get tested? And I traveled somewhere, or somebody traveled somewhere. What are the precautions that I need to take? We're screening calls for them right now. Right. The volume of calls coming in about COVID-19 so is so high, Dudley says, health departments can't handle that on their own. This center alone received more than 700 calls about coronavirus last week. We're also answering calls for providers for information of, I have this patient who I think should get tested and meet the criteria of what should I do and we will transfer them to the local health department so they can stay ready for those calls. The center at the U of A is staffed by pharmacists who are specially trained and certified in poison information. Pharmacy interns and physicians are also on staff to answer your calls and concerns. For those who have come into contact with somebody who has tested positive, um, we're here to give them guidance based off if they're symptomatic or not of what their next steps should be. Now you can call your local health department for questions about COVID-19 or you can call the state toll free number on your screen right now. But again, because the Poison Control Center is helping with these calls, don't be alarmed or confused if they are the ones that answer. Taja Davis, KGA 9 on your side. Right, good information, Taja. Thank you for a breakdown map of the latest COVID-19 cases. Visit our special section, kgun9.com slash coronavirus.